There were many attacks on U.S. bases in Iraq following the 7th of October, and we had escalations and de-escalations. At one point, the United States retaliated by targeting some of the resistance movement's bases in Iraq that target the U.S. bases, and we have a lot of calls from a very long time to completely get rid of all of the U.S. bases in Iraq and there are talks between the US government and the Iraqi government to do that however that still hasn't happened now we have another attack on Ain al-Assad Ain al-Assad is in the western part of Iraq again it was targeted multiple times previously we heard reports that three explosions were heard in the base although the United States tightened the security on the base in recent days What's different this time is that we have U.S. casualties. We had a report from Reuters saying that there are several U.S. troops wounded in the base. No one took responsibility yet. However, we could be seeing messages coming out from uh, Iran and its supporting groups in the region in retaliation to what the U.S. is doing in its support for the genocide of Israel in Gaza. We haven't heard an official response from the United States administration yet. However, seeing as we have wounded U.S. soldiers, we might see a response in the coming hours and the United States might even try and use that to gain more support and sympathy, to add more troops in case they need to support Israel following the retaliation that's expected on them very soon.